sampling five different barbecue joints on five different Saturdays in the Leesburg, Ashburn, Virginia area to see which one comes out on top. I'm focused on three things, taste, price, and dining experience. This is the Carolina Brothers Pit Barbecue in Ashburn, Virginia. Now this structure was built over 50 years ago and served as a general store that was adjacent to the railroad tracks. But since then, for the past 18 years, it's been the site of this barbecue restaurant. <laughs> Brisket sandwich, baked beans, and coleslaw. The barbecue beans, these are excellent. They're really thick, they have a really good taste to them. They have a little bit of sweetness to them. I really like the barbecue sauce here. It's sweet and tangy, which is what I love. The brisket, I'm gonna say it's average or maybe slightly above average, just a little bit chewy. Welcome to Hammerdown Barbecue, south of Ashburn on Route 50. Now their motto here is real wood, real smoke, real barbecue. The structure here was originally an old tea house and they gutted it, renovated it, using wood from old barns in the local area. Brisket sandwich, baked beans, and coleslaw. So the hammer down brisket, it's very tender and juicy and smoky. Barbecue beans are pretty sweet, tangy, two or three different kinds of beans in here, pretty good. Coleslaw tastes a little different too. I like it. This is Monk's Barbecue in Percival, Virginia. Started out as a food truck operation in 2011, and then it became this permanent establishment. Brisket sandwich, coleslaw, and barbecue beans. So the brisket here at Monk's was really nice, tender, well cooked, good smoke rings, pulled apart when I ate it, really good. Um, the coleslaw, Pretty much vinegar type coleslaw. No extra type of uh, mayonnaise or any kind of things like that. So if you like that, you'll really like this coleslaw. Barbecue beans are really good, had meat inside there. They also had one type of bean instead of three or so, which I like. Good, rich, tangy taste. And the helping of barbecue beans was the largest we've had yet. Very good. Ambiance here, really good. Uh, a lot of barbecue, a lot of people, a lot of energy going on. Rescue Barbecue. Started in the backyard cooking for family and friends, and now it's morphed into a full-time barbecue joint. Brisket sandwich, beans, and coleslaw. That pulled apart really easy. This brisket has a really good smoky taste to it. It's got a good bark on it. It's really top-notch. Adding in the barbecue sauce and the coleslaw, this brisket sandwich, it's awesome. So the beans are good. They're sweet, but I don't detect any meat inside the beans. And I don't taste a lot of smoke inside the beans. The coleslaw's got a nice creamy taste to it. Not a vinegar type of taste, so a little bit different than some of the others. So we stepped it up a little bit on the dining experience. We've got real utensils, six types of barbecue sauces on every table. Nice glass for the beverages, and we have table service. Schmidt's Barbecue in the historic district of Leesburg, Virginia, where all their barbecue is smoked on the property. Brisket sandwich, the barbecue beans, and the coleslaw. All right, so I'm holding up a piece of the brisket on the sandwich. We do have a nice smoke ring here on the meat, so that's a good sign. And pull it apart, and we'll see what it tastes like. I like the coleslaw. It has a very creamy consistency to it. Tastes really good. They have on the side here some pickled onions and pickles, and they also taste pretty good. All their barbecue sauces are made in-house. 
I'm trying out the sweet one today, pretty good. And this one's a Jack Daniels Bay sauce. So I've never had barbecue beans like this before. There's a lot of meat in here. There's both bacon and it looks like some type of pork or chicken. And it does have a little bit of a smoky taste, but the consistency is more like a soup. So I've got the sauce mixed in now with the brisket sandwich and the coleslaw. It's all starting to kind of come together with a good recipe. I'm enjoying the sandwich. So as far as the eating atmosphere goes, we're in a historical house, which is pretty interesting. There's two small rooms upstairs, which have been converted into eating areas. We're in one of those now. There's one small room downstairs. And out back, there's a bricked patio with umbrellas for shade. All five barbecue joints will deliver a great meal. But if you push me for my personal favorites, I'm going for Monk's, Hammer Down, and Rescue Barbecue. Mm -hmm.